Hey, I'm Corey Graves, and this is Culture Shock. Today, we are getting all inked up at a Manhattan institution. We're heading to the Lower East Side to New York Hardcore Tattoos. New York Hardcore Tattoos is owned by punk guitarist Vinny. I got to hang out with Vinny and one of the artists, Baz, to learn so much about tattoo lifestyle and a whole lot more. So how long have you owned the shop, Vinny? 15 years. We're here. Right on. As a someone who was born and raised here in the Lower East Side, what does tattoo culture mean to you? Well, the tattoo culture was a rebel thing, you know, back in the old days, you know, uh, before it was, like, legal. But it was a trilogy of life, getting tattooed, you know? You get your family, your friends, your memories, stuff like that, you know what I mean? What's the best part about growing up and living in the Lower East Side, as opposed to any other part of Manhattan or the city? Well, I, you know, I travel a lot, and people come to New York, and they want to come to a real New York institution. So they come to New York Hardcore Tattoos. That's how I found the place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we made, like, the awning. Yeah, you know, like exactly. CBGBs, it looks like a CBGB you know? awning, yeah. As a matter of fact, same thing like my guitar. This is an original photograph of CBGBs. That's one of my, my biggest regrets I never made up before oh, I sat yeah. down. Oh, no? No. Oh, wow. I remember I got, on, I got online and signed the petitions to save it and everything. I couldn't, I couldn't Sorry. Make it. Yeah. <laughs> Poor kid. Yeah. Baz, you're not originally from the United States, right? Where are you from? I'm originally from Liverpool in England. And what brought you here? I've always grew up being obsessed with uh, America. And then when I first arrived in New York in like 1990, I just felt like I'd come home. New York is always yeah. welcoming exactly. anyway yeah, to a exactly. lot of people because, you know, everybody lives so close to each other, so many cultures, so many, yeah. you know what I mean? But the thing is also, if you come in and if you want to work at it, if you want to do it, then people will be there to help you and they'll be there to catch you when you fall. If you want to just turn up and just go, oh, what am I going to do? They'll be like, oh, f off. You, know? you could yeah. make it here, yeah, you could anywhere. That is true, I never it's realized. New it. York. <laughs> When I came in here for the first time, we were in town for WrestleMania. And I walked in, and Baz was working, and he said, what do you want to get tattooed? And I said, ah, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking maybe an anchor. Right. And he looked at me and says, how about a tiger head? And I yeah, said, that's his <laughs> OK, yeah. fine. So now I have the, the WrestleMania tiger. And then he was kind enough to hide a little anchor in there for okay, me, because that yeah. was my original plan. Right. But uh, that was one of the best spur of the moment things. It's it my great, WrestleMania man. tiger. Yeah. I went back the next morning, and, and our boss, and he knew where I'd been, and he yeah. said, What'd you do last night? And I said, well, you know, I went out and had fun. Goes, oh, yeah, Let me yeah, see. Yeah. And we, Keep we had, America beautiful. Yeah, we, <laughs> we had an awesome time. Welcome to New York Hardcore Tattoos, everybody. This is all a fancy flash around here. Give me some names of some people that have come through the shop. Billy Joe from Green Day. Got tattooed a while back. I tattooed uh, Tyson Beckett. The, the oh, the model? Yeah. yeah. Uh, my friend Chris. Play bass in a band called Muse. Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20. Oh, okay. Is that tattooed here? He's gonna, he's gonna... Kind of like a rite of passage here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be here. So for me personally, the world of tattoos and punk rock and wrestling are kind of intertwined. Yeah. They're all very, they're essential to me, who I am as a person. And I've become friends over the years with Lars Fredrickson of Rancid. So I was in San Francisco for the WrestleMania on sale ticket party. And Hulk Hogan was there doing an appearance and meet and greet, things like that. And I was able to get a picture of Lars and Hulk and I together, wow. which was literally wow. one photo, my worlds collided. Yeah. It was Lars who, you know, I got yeah. into punk rock with Rancid when I was yeah. growing up and, and Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Trifecta right there. That was it. And, and it's, it's been since blown up. It's hanging on my wall in my oh, house. Nice. It's awesome. It's, it's the coolest thing. But it's just crazy how all these cultures kind of intertwine. A lot intertwine. of wrestlers are getting tattooed, too. There's a lot of guys that have something that's hidden in, under their gear or whatever. Huh? Fandango is actually. Under the gear? Still any with these well, yeah. It's not 1988 anymore. You know? It's a foreign yeah. <laughs> like Fandango, the, the guy that does Oh, yeah, dancing. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, I think, at least a half a leg sleeve. Oh. He's got some really cool stuff going on. Um, the, the Samoans. The, the, I was just going to yeah. say the Samoans. Oh, we got, got Roman Reigns and the yeah. Usos. Yeah. They all have the full yeah. sleeve yeah. yeah. onto their chest with the, 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 the traditional. Style. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's awesome. It's so cool to see. Like and The Rock. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're all they're all related. They're all right. <laughs> really, really good. What's really weird is um, I had one geezer come in one time and he's like, oh, I want to get a tattoo. I'm like, oh, what do you want to get? He pulls out a picture of the rock from a magazine, you know, kind of and he goes, oh, I want to get this. I'm like, well, you, you can't get that. That's that's his. And he goes, oh no, I want the same one. Yeah. I was like, you realize that's his family's life story. I can't do his life story on you because it doesn't. It's not your life right, story, right? Right, right. right. He looked at me like he was. Yes. He probably went out of his. He probably, probably has it. Yeah, yeah, he probably went out of his. I love yeah, these yeah. like jocks. They want a tribal tattoo. Yeah, yeah. like, what tribe you belong? <laughs> the more tribe. <laughs> well, Vinny, it's been hey. a pleasure, man. Thanks All for right, letting cool. me hang out. It's All been right. awesome. Right. Baz, good to see you again, buddy. What a day. How much fun has this been? I'd be lying if I said I didn't have the itch to get tattooed right now. I want to thank you for hanging out with me here in New York City. It's just been the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to see. And I want you to join me as we do it. I'm Corey Graves. This has been Culture Shock.